Welcome to AI Bedtime Stories. Today's story is called, The Starbrew Outlaws. In the sprawling cosmos where star systems were as diverse as the cultures that thrived within them, there existed a planet known as Bruin. Famous across the galaxy for its vast plantations of exotic teas, Bruin celebrated International Tea Day not just as a tradition, but as a grand festival that attracted beings from every corner of the universe. However, beneath the surface of this tea-loving society brewed a tale of rebellion and camaraderie, a space-western saga that would echo through the stars. Cassidy Jones, a sharpshooter with a taste for adventure and the finest brews, captained the spacecraft the Darjeeling. Alongside her loyal crew, including a tech-savvy Martian named Sparks and a mysterious ex-bounty hunter from Vega known only as Cade, Cassidy navigated the lesser-known trade routes to Bruin. Their mission? To partake in the festivities and smuggle out the fabled starleaf tea, a rare variety said to enhance one's senses and prized by connoisseurs and hustlers alike. As the Darjeeling touched down on Bruin's dusty outskirts, Cassidy and her crew disguised themselves as tea merchants. They mingled among the festival's colorful stalls and vibrant parades, where aliens of all shapes and sizes celebrated with cups of steaming tea, sharing stories and laughter under the neon lights of the brew tents. But the crew's true objective lay in the heavily guarded vaults of Bruin's governor, a corrupt official known to hoard Starleaf for his personal gain. With Spark's technological wizardry and Cade's stealth expertise, they planned a heist that would not only score them the galaxy's most coveted tea but also strike a blow against the governor's oppressive regime. The night before the heist, Cassidy found herself in a dusty saloon, sipping a peculiarly strong blend of local tea. Here, she encountered an old rival, Jackson T. Reed, a notorious outlaw turned sheriff of the sector. Over a tense game of holographic cards, Cassidy and Jackson discussed old times, their paths having diverged wildly since their last encounter at the edge of the Orion Nebula. As the festival reached its zenith, with fireworks lighting up the starry sky and music pulsating through the air, Cassidy and her crew executed their plan. Sparks hacked into the security network, creating a diversion by broadcasting a live tea duel, a popular festival event, across all screens, while Cade slipped into the shadows, making his way towards the vaults. Meanwhile, Cassidy confronted the governor, challenging him to a public tea duel. As they faced off, brewing their chosen teas under the watchful eyes of the festival crowd, Cassidy's blend, a concoction spiked with a mild sleeping agent, ensured the governor's swift and peaceful incapacitation. With the governor out cold, and the security distracted, the crew retrieved the Starleaf. Their escape was nearly thwarted by Jackson, who had anticipated Cassidy's moves. However, in a surprising twist, Jackson allowed them to leave, his old affection for Cassidy and disdain for the governor's greed outweighing his duty. As the Darjeeling blasted off from Bruin, Cassidy and her crew celebrated their successful heist, savoring the Starleaf's exquisite flavor. Each sip was a toast to freedom, to the thrill of the heist, and to the enduring spirit of International Tea Day, a day that proved even in the vast and lawless reaches of space, the love for tea could bring together the most unlikely of allies. Thus, the legend of the Starbrew outlaws spread across the cosmos, a tale of adventure, defiance, and the unifying power of tea on International Tea Day, celebrated wherever the stars shone and the kettles whistled.